Hi, this is Dr. Christensen and welcome to my office. Today we're going to be discussing cold laser therapy. Cold laser therapy is something that, that has been around for a little while and, and surprisingly there's just a ton of research that's been done on, on the cold lasers. The reason we call it a cold laser is not because it produces cold, but because it doesn't produce heat. The lasers that we're using are um, high frequency lasers that have a low energy output. They're not your James Bond lasers that's going to cut people in two. And so they're very, very safe and they're very, very effective. My first exposure to, to cold laser therapy was during seminars that I attended for continuing education. And we found that the lasers were very, very effective. However, they're very, very expensive as, as many of you may have discovered. And one of the things that I found is that, that I believe that the cost of the laser was worth the benefit that we get from it. And so while I was deliberating as to whether or not I should put out the, the $17,000 for the cold laser therapy uh, machine, I was at an acupuncture seminar. And during the course of the seminar, the, the doctor who was presenting mentioned the, using a cold laser. And he showed, showed this, this little pen laser and he says, these work great for treating acupuncture points if you don't want to use needles. And, and so I was very intrigued and so I looked at the laser and I noticed that the frequency of the laser was the exact same frequency as the lasers that were used on the big expensive machines with all the bells and whistles. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to get one of these. It only costs $40. And so compared to, to, the, to the two, this was worth a try. And I took it home and began using it on my, my family and actually my pets and, and my patients and began getting excellent result, results. Here's what I did. I took the, the, the small cold laser that we, we got from the acupuncturist and began using the protocols that were taught in the, in the big laser class. And... And the benefit of this is that you could take a, a cold laser like this home and use it very frequently during the day. We find that the, the laser is most effective if it's used very frequently, meaning multiple times during the day, rather than going to the doctor's office or the physical therapist's office and having it done once a week or once every other week. And the great value of this is that it's easy to use, it's, it's totally safe, you cannot hurt yourself with it, and we get excellent results. So what kind of results are we getting? We're finding that the, the cold laser, and you need to have one that uses 635 nanometers as the frequency and less than five milliwatts as the energy output. Again, you don't want something that's gonna burn, something that's gonna be, um, be a potential health or risk hazard. The nice part about this is the energy output is so low that it's not gonna wash over and bowl over the cells so and create a problem or in other words it's going to offer just enough energy to make the physiologic changes that we're after and the changes that we're after with the cold laser is it will increase circulation and so it causes what we refer to as a vasodilation it dilates the blood vessels increasing the circulation so the nutrients can be received into the cells and the waste products can be carried away it also reduces inflammation it, it controls pain. It does just a number of different things. We find that they have an anti-cancer anti property. We find that we can, we can put it on, on warts or we can put it on suspicious moles and see very, very nice outcomes. In fact, one of the first things that I discovered, I had a mole on my back and my, my wife commented on this and it would be what I would classify as a suspicious mole. And suspicious moles very often are code code language for dude you got skin cancer go to the dermatologist have him diagnose it and so my wife suggested let's use the cold laser and so we put the cold laser right up against the the, the mole on my back held it for about 30 seconds and afterwards my wife commented she says that's interesting it's kind of white around the edges and we did it probably about 10 times over the next two weeks and then one morning drying off from the shower um, I felt a little tug on my back and looked on the floor and there was my mole and so my wife came in and looked at my back and she says oh my goodness your back has perfect baby skin and and so it was 
it was kind of exciting that that just using this forty dollar cold laser stylus can have that profound an effect. We find that it it has the ability to increase the actually the hydrogen peroxide within the cell, which is antibacterial. And so, if somebody has an an abscess or a sore, um, we we can use the cold laser on that, and it will it will reduce that. In fact, we had a, a cat who had an, an abscess on 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 his paw. Um, I tell people our cats are not pets, they're employees, and their, their job is, is rodent control. And so this cat had, had a, a swollen paw, and we used the, the cold laser on the, the paw. And the nice thing about the cold laser is I could treat the cat from across the room, because the cat who's injured or sore um, is not real snuggly, and he's all claws and fangs. And so we, we treated that, and the cold laser very, very effectively reduced that swelling and inf inflammation. We did make a mistake, however. We reduced the swelling within a day and we thought we were done. Two days later, it had swollen up twice as big. We didn't do it enough. And so we, we repented of our mistake and we gave the, the job to the six-year-old. And so my six-year-old daughter at, at the time began using the cold laser. and She was much more diligent than, than me or my wife. And... Um, after after a day, the abscess burst open and it drained, and the, the cat's fine, and that's hundreds of mice ago. And so the cold laser is very effective. The other thing that we find, it will reduce inflammation in a swollen joint. And so if you if you have a joint that is swollen or or inflamed, as far as ar arthritis is concerned, the cold laser is very effective in treating that joint and reducing the inflammation. Now I mentioned it causes a, a vasodilation and it happens very quickly, right, right away. And so we can put the cold laser on a joint, move that joint back and forth during the, the treatment phase and the pain will diminish right away. And to me that's important. We want results. We don't want to be doing this for two weeks or two months hoping something's going to happen. We want to use the cold laser and we want to feel like it is doing good right away. And, and that's what we observe with this. And so things, things that we use to treat with the cold laser are sprains and, and strains, um, tendonitis, arthritis, uh, a, a tennis elbow or a golfer's elbow. We use it on bursitis, on back pain, on carpal tunnel syndrome, fibromyalgia, warts I, I mentioned, suspicious moles I mentioned, acne or skin, skin problems, earaches, sore throats, um, abscesses. And, and one of the nice things we do with this is we use the acupuncture protocols. Now, I've, I've written a manual that, that discusses the, the, the cold laser therapy. And in the manual, it describes in detail how to use the cold laser. But I also have acupuncture charts. And in, and in a, a coming video, I will demonstrate exactly how we use the acupuncture charts for the cold laser therapy. It's very brilliant. Again, you don't have to use needles. You can use the cold laser on these acupuncture points and it's very, very effective. The cold laser is, is, is available through us. However, you can get them in many different places. The key to remember is, is you need that 635 nanometers of frequency and you need less than five milliwatts of energy output. These run on, on AAA batteries. And so I tell people, get AAA batteries that are rechargeable, buy a, a solar charger, they're usually less than $20, and, and you're set, and, and it will last you a good long time. Again, we're excited about the cold laser. I've, I've sold thousands of them to my patients with very, very good results. Many of them reporting that they are off their arthritis medication simply by using a simple home therapy that is, that is very safe, very effective. You cannot over, overdo it um, in the sense that, that if you leave it on too long, it's not going to create a, a harm or a problem. Often what I teach my, my patients though, it is more effective to use the cold laser for one minute 10 times during the day than 10 minutes once during the day. And so it's the multiple frequency that, that gives us the benefit of, of using the cold laser. Again, if you've got a kid, it's safe, it's effective. And so I encourage you 
to, to look into this. Anyways, um, check, check this out. It's, it's, effective. it's an effective tool that you can use at home. And as I said, we're real excited about it. Go ahead and check out our other YouTube videos. Subscribe if, if, if you'd like. And share the information you learn with friends. Thank you.